For more analysis of the situation in Egypt, we're joined by Egyptian-American journalist and Middle East expert Ahmed Fati. Mr. Fati, back in 2011, it took 18 days for the revolution to bring down the president. It's been eight days of unrelenting unrest in Egypt. Uh, is it going to end the same way? Uh, certainly not. Uh, Mubarak, we have to remember Mubarak was in power for 30 years, which is quite a substantial period of time for a president to, re to stay in office. Uh, for Morsi, it's not just Morsi that the people are uh, uh, rising uh, against. It's Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood, an Islamo-fascist group Together with Morsi, they are trying to pass their own agenda, working for their own uh, benefit and bypassing the Egyptian people. The Egyptian people rise against Mubarak with four main demands, freedom, social justice, human dignity and bread. And this has not been accomplished so far. What about the peace agreement signed yesterday? Is it likely to have any effect at all? Uh, the, the, the statement that was uh, issued uh, yesterday, uh, it's, it represents the individuals uh, who co-signed it. It does not uh, hold uh, uh, strength in the streets of Egypt. Uh, those who have uh, signed it, uh, some of them have openly endorsed Morsi during the, the runoff uh, for the presidential, uh, during the presidential elections. So it only represents those who signed it and not the masses of the people. The Egyptian people demands have been overlooked and uh, it's, it, this is just a beginning. It's going to be tougher uh, to remove Morsi than it was to remove uh, Mubarak. But uh, the people and the youth of Egypt uh, are determined to not settle for anything less than bread, freedom, social justice and human dignity. Some of the experts that we've spoken to here on, uh, uh, on RT pointed out that the military are taking increasing control of Egypt. Would you agree with that? The military has been in, in power in Egypt since 1952. Uh, when uh, Morsi and the Islamo-fascist Muslim Brotherhood rose to power, their number one priority was to dismantle the police forces and to uh, uh, infuse uh, uh, people from the Muslim Brotherhood into the establishment, something similar to what happened in Iran in the 80s, trying to establish a, milita a, a, a revolutionary militias. Uh, this that will not work in Egypt. Uh, what the uh, supreme leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, Dr. Mohammed Badia, and Mohammed Morsi are doing are just simply and bluntly engaging in a self-gratification process just for their own benefit and for their own group and the hell with the Egyptian people. Ahmed Fati, New York-based Egyptian-American journalist and Middle East analyst. Thank you.